on May 4th, we released the results from our new modeling strategy. And there is one major difference between the new model that got released on May 4th and all of our estimates that had been released until that day. And the main difference is that up until that point, we had been assuming that the social distancing measures that have, had already been put into place would stay in place through the end of May. And that would have led to the end of this epidemic phase. The number of deaths and cases would have gone down and then we would have moved to containment strategies. And what became apparent leading up to May 4th was that that was no longer the case. And so as states move towards removing social distancing mandates or easing them, and people started moving around more, we saw very different trends. And so we tried to incorporate them in our new model update that was released on May 4th. So what's very important to keep in mind is that as this epidemic evolves, so will the modeling strategies and the estimates because we do our best to reflect reality on any given day with the information we have available. And that information comes to us with a very high frequency and speed and we try to incorporate it all.